Hey guys, today I'm reviewing Banana Boat Summer Color Self Tanning Lotion and we tried the deep dark shade. Um, I gave this one four out of five stars, so I really did like it. Um, for a drugstore self tanner, this is probably as good as you're gonna get, honestly. Um, it comes in a six ounce bottle and it sells for like a little under eight bucks. That's really cheap, it's um, like $1.25 per ounce, so that's super cheap. Um, and as far as drugstore cell tanners go, I usually don't rec like recommending them, but this one I can feel good about recommending. Is it the best self tanner out there? No, but it's better than most drugstore self tanners um, and the color is pretty nice. So this is a lotion, it's a pretty thick lotion, slick feeling, and it does have like a medium brown guide in it. You can see it a little bit when you apply it to your skin, but it's not super dark. Um, and the smell of this is pretty good. Most drugstore self tanners kind of reek of DHA, but this one smells fresh um, and kind of clean. You can smell the DHA a little bit, and the next morning you definitely smell the DHA. That's where the price of this product kind of really shows through, is I really smell the DHA the next morning. But when you apply it, it's not bad at all. It smells pretty good. I really like the smell of Banana Boat products, honestly. Um, application is really easy. I don't even think you'll need to use a mitt with this one. Just because the guide isn't that dark, um, it's very thick, so you don't need to worry about it dripping through your hands or your fingers. Um, it blends nicely into your skin. I didn't have any problems with application at all. Drying time, um, so this is a lotion. It took about 40 to 45 minutes to dry, um, which is a little longer than average, but it's nothing crazy, and I didn't feel super sticky or wet while I waited for it to dry. Um, you can kind of expect that drying time for thicker lotions. Um, the color it produced, it was actually a really nice dark tan. And it might be too dark for some of you guys out there that have very pale skin, but they also have a lighter shade that you can try. Um, I think that you'd like that one as well. Um, so the, the color, I didn't have any problems with it streaking, it looked smooth, um, and it was pretty brown and bronzy. It looked like I'd just gone back from vacation. I did like the color a lot, which is surprising for a drugstore self tanner that has this price point. Now this self tanner doesn't have all the good ingredients or cosmeceuticals that a lot of companies include, or the higher end companies include, but if you're in a pinch or all year round is drugstores and you need a tan, this one is pretty good. Um, it lasted about three to four days, which is pretty average, longer than most drugstore self tanners last. Um, and it did kind of get patchy and splotchy as it faded, but that's to be expected with darker self tanners. Men, I think you will like this one, um, but like I said, if you're super pale, maybe start with a light one. The, the dark, deep dark one does produce a nice dark shade. Um, it's very even, easy to apply, smells pretty good, and the price is, you can't beat it. So overall, I ended up giving this one four out of five stars. And for more information on this self-tanner as well as many others, please visit us online at selftanning.com and on Facebook and Twitter.